let's say qx is the polynomial 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. Now it is given that uh, uh, its uh, zeros are 2 of zeros are ro under root 2 and minus under root 2. So I can write qx as px, px is an another polynomial multiply by x minus under root 2 and x plus under root 2 since q, q uh, zeros of 2 zeros of q are under root 2 and under root minus 2 so uh, where px is a another is an another polynomial or i can write qx equals to px into since i know that from basic algebra i can write a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square so here a is x and b is under root 2 so i can write x square minus under root 2 square will be 2 or i can write px equals to qx divided by x square minus 2 or i can say px is the quotient of the uh, dividend 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 divided by divisor is x square minus 2 so first we need to find out the quotient px so if i divide x square minus 2 if i divide 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 by the divisor x square plus minus 2 i can get the value of px which is the quotient so 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 so let's see what will i get so first term of the quotient will be 2x power 4 divided by x square first term of the dividend divided by first term of the divisor i'll get 2x square so the first term of the quotient will be 2x square now multiply 2x square into the divisor x square minus 2 i will get 2x square x power 4 minus 4x square so if i write it here 2x power 4 minus 4x square now if i change the sign here plus minus it will be 0 and here minus uh, so highest power of x is minus 3x cube and uh, minus 3x square plus 4x square will be plus x square and plus 6x minus 2 so it will be now the second term of the quotient will be minus 3x cube by x square which is minus 3x so i'll write minus 3x here and if i multiply minus 3x into x square minus 2 i'll get minus 3x cube plus 6x so here if i write minus 3x cube plus 6x and change the sign minus plus so minus 3x cube plus 3x cube will be 0 from here i can write x square plus 6x minus 6x will be 0 and here i can write minus 2 or if i divide by x square by x square the first term of the remainder and the divisor it will be 1 now i can multiply 1 into x square minus 2 it will be x square minus 2 so i can write here 1 and x square minus 2 now change the sign 
it will be minus and sorry plus and minus so x square minus x square is zero and minus two plus two zero so remainder is zero so basically our px will be 2x square minus 3x plus 1. Now, we need to find out the zeros of px. So, first we shall split the middle term which is minus 3x in two into two terms alpha and beta such that alpha plus beta will be minus 3x and alpha into beta will be 1 into product of the remaining term 1 into 2x square so it is 2x square so if i assume that alpha equals to minus x and beta equals to minus 2x then alpha plus beta will be minus x plus minus 2x will be minus 3x and uh, product of alpha beta will be 2x square so which satisfy the condition alpha plus beta and alpha into beta so i can write the px as 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 or i can say 2x x minus 1 and uh, if i take minus 1 common out from the this term I will get minus 1 x minus 1 so px will be x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 so here I can write px will be 0 when either x minus 1 0 or 2x minus 1 will be 0. So, from here I can write x equals to 1 and from here I can write x equals to 1 by 2. So, x equals to 1 and x equals to 1 by 2 are the zeros of px or I can say it is zeros of qx. Now, I can write qx is x minus 1, 2x minus 1 and x plus root 2 and x minus root 2. So, from here the zeros of qx will be x equals to 1, x equals to 1 by 2, x equals to root 2 and x equals to under root minus of x equals to minus under root 2.